Yo Aguan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to clean up your vocals, get rid of noise from the background of your vocals, and just make your vocals sound a whole lot better, a whole lot more professional. So stay tuned to the end of this video because this is some information you need to know. You obviously don't want to release songs that sound trash and your vocals sound like you've got someone blowing wind in the mic and all that sort of stuff. So I'm gonna be showing you how to make sure that doesn't happen. Now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jaycarterray.com, teaching you how to be better at music, online business, and online marketing. And this is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't wanna be starving artists. So if that sounds like you, click on that subscribe button, check out the rest of the content on the channel, cause you'll love it here. Now let's get straight into this, shall we? Let's quickly record some test vocals and then I'll show you how to get rid of the noise in them. So let me just get some recording up. These are my test vocals, yeah. These are my test vocals, yeah. These are my test vocals, yeah. Uh, yeah. These are my test vocals, what are you gonna say? Yeah, okay, that's enough. That's enough fun. <laughs> let's, now let's leave it where it is. We could bring this down to the main vocals. Yeah, let's do that actually. Let's bring this down to the main vocals. This is my vocal recording template work in progress. <laughs> like it's not supposed to be like this yet. I need to delete a bunch of stuff and color code stuff, but basically let's get to mixing okay now i've got my you know my basic mix that usually comes and uh, that i usually use for everything so i'll play this so you can hear what it ends up sounding like but i'll go into the the main thing that you need to know in order to get rid of noise right about now so let's put this on solo and let's play this these are my test vocals yeah these are my test vocals yeah these are my test vocals, yeah. Uh, yeah. These are my test vocals, what are you gonna say? Yeah. Yeah, you don't need to hear all that. So, if we turn off the effects, this is what it sounds like. These are my test vocals. So, you hear that noise at the beginning? Noise? These are my test vocals, yeah. These are my test vocals, yeah. I mean, you can really just see the noise there. The reason why you maybe can't hear it is because of all this reverb. So let me get rid of all this lovely, lovely reverb, which is making my vocals sound better than they should be sounding at the moment. Uh, please don't be something crashing everything. What is that? I don't want no business with whatever that is popping up right about now. Okay, so got rid of all... These are my test vocals. Now you, sh now you can hear the noise again. So all these parts here, this noise, that's noise, that's noise, that's noise. Uh, let's listen back. These are my test vocals, yeah. These are my test vocals, yeah. And if I just turn off everything except for our main vocals, this is what we got. These are my test vocals, yeah. These are my test vocals, yeah. These are my test vocals, yeah. Uh, yeah. These are. Hmm, this doesn't sound too noisy. Nah, I can hear it. I don't know if it's a noise in the. in FL Studio or it's just a noise coming from my computer that I can just hear in the room. So I can't be. So a super great judge of this but i'm hoping that you can hear this and if you can't put on headphones it will make it really easier to hear but let me show you how to basically get rid of this and make everything sound way better so what you need is a gate and fl studio will come with a gate so you can use the gate from fl studio i use neutron so for these particular vocals, I've used the rock vocal preset and then I've just changed it to what I need. And these are my settings on the whole release and attack and ratio and all that sort of stuff. This is like a compressor settings, but this isn't a compressor. So basically what it's doing is it's opening at 30, minus 38 dB and it's closing at minus 49 dB. This means that when sounds are coming in at minus 49.8 db basically minus 50 those vocal like any sound under this won't come through 
but all the sounds above minus 38.4 will come through so this is basically a way to just get rid of the sounds that you don't need so let's play this back and let's is this attached nope so let's bring that all the way over there detach that bring this all the way over there and now let's play this back and i guess let's turn off everything except for the gate so this is what it's looking at right about now uh, let's play this back these are my test vocals yeah these are my test vocals yeah these are my test vocals yeah uh, so you see all this orange stuff that's just getting rid of all that noise <laughs> it's like yo we don't need that let's get rid of that noise so i believe if we click this you can kind of hear the these noise are my test vocals. nah it's not showing yeah. us the noise these are my test vocals yeah these are my test vocals but we can turn it off these are my nope that didn't really turn it off if i turn it off from here let's see these are i can't even hear the noise anymore it's like the noise is gone it's too low for me to hear the noise i don't know what's going on there these are my test vocals yeah these are my test vocals like if we turn it off we should definitely hear that noise there because that's a lot of noise these are my test vocals yeah these kind of but basically when it comes through all these other channels and it's loud like this these are my test vocals let's get rid of the delay these are my test vocals yeah these are my test vocals yeah these are my test vocals yeah uh yeah yeah you can hear the noise a little bit better there so basically you just need to set a set it to open about where the lowest point of your vocal is so these will play through this these are my test so the vocal that you want to come through to make sure you're not cutting off any words these are my test vocals yeah these are my test vocals yeah these are my test vocals yeah uh yeah and then you want to close it before letting things that you don't want to hear come through so you look at the the artifacts that are coming through and you see where that's landing at what db that's landing the things that you don't want and then you just close it before that happens and that's how you set up a gate that's how you clean up your vocals denoise your vocals get rid of the noise in the background another way to get rid of more noise is to just record at a higher um input because the lower you record your input the more noise you'll hear when you compress it because your vocals are going to be around the noise level basically so you want to generally record your vocals coming in at, at least 12 db you don't want it like at 30 db or minus 30 or something the only reason these are at minus 30 is because after the vocals come through it goes to my main vocals channel which then goes to my main vocals 2 channel and then just goes to a bunch of channels so it needs to be low in the first main vocals channel and that's where this plugin is on so that's why we got minus 38.4 if you're just putting like your vocals in at the at the volume that it's going to be throughout the song then you, your open and close will generally be a whole lot higher than this. So I wouldn't suggest you just take my numbers and apply it to yours, unless you've got the same setup that I've got and you're using my vocal mixing template, which will be linked in the description when that's out. Um, but yeah, that's how you clean up your vocals. And because you made it this far in the video, I've got a free special gift for you. That gift is five of my best R&B trap beats for absolutely free. You can use these beats to upload your song to Spotify and actually make money from your music. The link is in the description down below or go to jcarteray.com forward slash free beats. Go to there, click on the link and you'll be able to get five of my basic licenses for absolutely free. These usually cost $29.95. So you're getting over a hundred dollars of free beats that you can use and actually make money from your music so definitely use that before it goes away and my question of the day is what's your favorite plugin for mixing your vocals let me know in the comment section down below if you've got any other questions or any other tutorials you want me to make please leave those in the comment section down below as well 
I'll see you in the next video where you'll learn more about music, online business, and online marketing. Peace out.